What's up guys, Clutchman37 here, talking to you guys about the Throne String Rift Lacrosse Shaft. Um, if you don't know any information on the shaft, uh, obviously go to thronestring.com, but hopefully I can bring you guys some information. There's a lot to talk about this shaft when it comes to playability, all the add-ons, all the features, as well as just being the most innovative shaft in the lacrosse world. So this is going to be quite a lengthy review. Um, hopefully you guys stick around for all of it. If not, um, maybe down below some will put different areas and stuff, but we're going to try and cover as much as we can without going over, you know, maybe 20, 25 minutes with it. A um, little disclosure, obviously, whenever I get a new product, whether it's a head, mesh, or shaft, I try to use it for a couple of weeks before I do a review. And with the Throne of String Rift Shaft, I got to play in the last night tournament, which is the LAX All-Stars North American Invitational in Syracuse slash Onondaga Reservation the last weekend. And I use this the whole tournament, so I feel very confident in my review, as well as uh, getting to know exactly what all is going on with the shaft. So. Without further ado, let's dive into it. We're going to start off with the tech specs, all the information regarding the shaft and building it, and from there talk about playability, durability, and then my full overall review, which hopefully you guys enjoy. This is probably going to be the meatiest portion of the review just because this shaft, if you haven't seen anything about it, is very unique, it's very different, and it's so innovative that I have to show you guys pretty much everything that comes with it. So obviously you can see in my hand, I have the carbon fiber piece right here. I have the metal piece that goes with it. And obviously, you can see this little nice little plug. This eventually goes in here and creates the best of both worlds. You get a bottom two thirds metal portion of the shaft. The top portion is carbon fiber. The whole idea being carbon fiber shafts, if you have a full carbon fiber shaft, as time goes on, the, uh, the shaft itself can warp sideways or bend or twist basically. Um, and not only that, but having a carbon fiber shaft is not exactly the most durable. The more times you take checks in certain areas or cross check someone, uh, the resin and all the carbon fiber layering starts to break down, eventually snapping. So what Throne and String did, and Joe over there, they decided to make the bottom two-thirds metal, being for cross-checks, playing, as well as grip, making sure that the metal obviously will not bend and twist. Top third being a carbon fiber piece. That way you get the most snap out of it, almost like the Carbon Pro shaft where it has the kick point, but you don't have to worry about durability with the shaft as time goes on. Uh, carbon fiber, there's two different versions. There's a lower flex and a higher flex. Higher flex being more flexible, lower flex being stiffer. Um, I recommend the lower flex for anyone that shoots maybe over 80, 85 miles an hour just because you're still going to get the flex and the snap you need, but it's not going to be too wobbly or too noodly. Um, from there, if you do like the lower flex, uh, maybe Joe said sophomore year high school down, it's a good option for you. Um, so they have two different versions of the carbon fiber. Shaft-wise, two different weights, 90 grams and 100 grams. I uh, don't necessarily know if either one's better or worse for you since you don't break a lot of shafts down below. Um, for box across, I would go with the 100 gram, the heavier version, uh, but it's really up to you. As the shaft releases, you'll be able to mix and match the pieces so you can get a uh, 90 gram metal portion with a low flex or high flex uh, carbon fiber, vice versa. So you have four different options totally. From there, obviously, there's so much more going on with the shaft. You have the butt end that they made. Um, you can kind of see the shape here. It's almost like an egg. Um, this being the back portion, this being the top portion where your hand is right here. Pretty nice. If you look closely, you can see there's a hole here, which we'll get to in a second. But when you go to make the shaft, which I believe if you buy it directly from Throne, they build it for you and ship it complete. But if you go to switch it up or something, or you want to take it apart and check it out. Obviously, you have the carbon fiber plug. It goes in here but it wobbles. So how they fix that is they come with this nice little plastic piece, which for anyone who dyes lacrosse heads, you can obviously dye different colors, which I think is just a sweet little add-on. Um, someone like me who wants a Nighthawks theme stick, I can dye this part purple, get a blue bolt, but you know, that's just how it is. So this goes in here, obviously it says Throne, and from here you get the Throne of String logo with the information on the back. Throne of String logo being the front portion. Stick it in no wobble. From there you see you have this big hole in the shaft. What you do with that is you have a bolt, you put it in one side, the little nut in the other, and then from here uh, this is where things get a little tricky. So when you buy it directly from Throne they will build the shaft for you and you don't have to worry about taking it apart. But if something happens or you buy maybe two carbon fiber pieces so you can interchange them and switch them out, you're going to need to buy this Throne String Rift tool. That's what this is here. One side is the big screwdriver, like a Phillips head. The other side is a flat head. Basically what you do with that is you grab it on here, twist it, make sure it's nice and tight, and the shaft holds up together. 
So that's one of the unique things that comes with the shaft is the interchangeability of the entire shaft. Um, huge fan of this. I think it's cool. Another cool little tidbit is this bolt and nut. They don't really get in your way of your hands. If you switch hands, you'll feel it, but it's not enough to really irritate you. Um, as you tighten it, they sit fairly flush. So you don't have to worry about it being a nuisance. Uh, for me, playing in the tournament, I never noticed it when I was switching hands or cradling. Um, so as you're playing, I don't think you'll notice that a whole lot. So this complete piece right here, without any of the additional add-ons, is going to be 150. You get the choice of carbon fiber flex. You get the metal shaft portion you need, and it comes pre-built and pre-bolted in, so you don't have to worry about doing it on your own. Buying the extra tool if you don't necessarily need it or trying to mess with it, so pretty cool right there. So from there, I think one of the most unique and interesting aspects of the shaft is the butt end. The butt end can come off, so you can replace it with something else if you want. Um, but if you don't want to replace it, it's in there pretty sturdily. Uh, I tried to rip it off and couldn't. I believe Joe said if you take a hair dryer or a heat gun to it, it'll heat up the plastic and then you can pull it out. But I wouldn't worry about it. As you can see here, they have the hole like I described earlier. And with that, you can get the Throner String Rift Control Kit. This is an additional 15 bucks when you buy the shaft. But I definitely think it's worth it, um, simply because it has three different tuning weights to it. And it also comes with an extra color bolt, um, which goes in the shaft here. So if you get an all black one like this and you want to change it up, uh, I changed it up and got a blue screw to go with it just to kind of match a uh, Nighthawk stick or something. Uh, it's pretty cool. I think it's worth the extra 15 bucks if you're going to buy the shaft. But how this works is it comes with two normal weights and then a screw. Each of these is five grams in weight. And from there you can customize it. Um, you can do two of these in here with the screw to make it a little heavier, bottom heavy. Uh, you can do one, which is what I do, uh, it just makes it a little, little heavier down below, it makes it feel sturdy and balanced, all depending on how you want to play it. Or you can do none of them and just have the screw itself down in there, which will add an extra five grams. Um, so you give you a little, little bottom weight. For me personally, I mess around with the different weights, and for box across, I choose to do just one of the five gram little bolts, and or not bolts, the weights, and then the bolt itself, so an extra ten grams in the bottom of the shaft. Just makes it feel a little more balanced in my opinion. From there, you don't necessarily need the tool for this. You can use a Phillips head screwdriver and screw that bad boy in. Um, pretty cool. So I'll just screw it in real quick, and then from there we'll continue the review. But basically, when I do reviews of stuff, uh, I typically don't review shafts just because nowadays shafts are pretty much the same. I mean, the only thing you can really change in a metal shaft is the shape of it or the texture or the weight. Carbon fiber, you have too many people making a complete carbon fiber stick with different flex points, but as time goes on, as many of you know, or at least hopefully you do know, if you have a full carbon fiber stick and you're checking someone consistently in this area of the shaft or down here, as time goes on, you do two, three, four meaty checks with that, the carbon fiber will snap. Uh, if it doesn't snap and you use it for a year and you play with it or you leave it in your bag, the actual shaft itself can twist in different ways, making it more inconsistent. And from there, it's, it's very hard to control a carbon fiber stick to flex forward and back only and not side to side. Warrior tries it with their Burn Pro shaft, but that's 150 bucks, And it's a Warrior shaft, so it's not necessarily, you know, not, I don't know. I wouldn't use it. Uh, but Throne String Rift, you get the best of both worlds. You get a metal portion down here. Great grip. It has a little bit of sandpaper blasted to it, and it's a fairly, fairly generic shape, which I'm a big fan of. Then you get the carbon fiber up here, which having this small portion of a carbon fiber, it's not going to twist a whole lot on you. It'll flex forward side to side, so it's you know just a nice carbon fiber piece. Durability-wise, having the plug go down about this far with the carbon fiber is awesome. Um, so overall, I mean, all the add-ons and pieces you can give this shaft are above anything else. It's so innovative. It's something unique and different, and you can truly customize it to your own liking, which no one else really has. So Throne of String absolutely knocked out of the park with that. I'm overly thrilled with this shaft. And, um, I mean, you saw it. it didn't take too long to put it together, customize it. Real easy to switch out pieces. So 150 for the shaft alone, an extra 15 bucks for the control kit, which includes, like I said, different color bolt if you choose to, and the added weights down below. Pretty much worth it. So now talking about the durability of the rift shaft, I think this is where everyone is concerned, considering the shaft is bottom two-thirds metal, top one-third carbon fiber, and the only thing that's holding the pieces together is an extra carbon fiber plug that goes down probably about two, three inches, and then a bolt. Uh, with me, I was a little concerned about it, but 
I wanted to test it out anyway. Since this being the most innovative shaft on the market, I had to get my hands on one and check it out. Um, durability wise, I had one issue in our very first game with it where I was playing. I don't I don't know exactly what happened. I was cradling and Courtney Fleming, also known as Silverback, I think it's 81 on Instagram and social media, he's a big guy. He went to a bunch of NLO combines. He plays a lot of box across. I mean, he's six foot, jacked. Uh, he, he's a big kid. Um, as I was playing, he came around and had a mean wrap check, and it snapped the carbon fiber piece right off. Uh, after watching the film a bit, I noticed that he hit me directly on the carbon fiber right above the white throne string plastic connection piece, and it just snapped. Um, right after that happened, I was concerned about it. Uh, luckily, Joe was there at the tournament. I went and talked to him, showed it to him, and he replaced it right away, which best customer service in the game, at least, in my opinion. Uh, but since then, durability-wise, you know, I talked a little bit about it, and he said that uh, they've been working on it, and they finally have it to where they think it's perfect. Uh, the plug is a, a good thickness to where it's not going to be too heavy, but also going to plug it in and hold the carbon fiber in shape. Um, so durability-wise, carbon fiber piece, I'm not too worried. Shaft-wise, uh, I played a lot of offense and a little bit of defense in transition, and I noticed, or at least I was smart enough to think about it, when you go to cross-check someone and box across, a lot of people have their hands out here or a little higher up in the shaft. For me, if you're using the rift shaft, if you hold it on the metal, it holds up pretty great. I did a lot of good cross-checking, at least in my opinion, and the shaft itself is not bent, uh, or at least the metal portion is not bent, so... Not too concerned about that whatsoever. Um, shaft is not made for box across. If you do play box across, or at least legitimate box across with big hits, you can get away with using one of these shafts if you cross check people holding strictly the metal portion. Um, otherwise, you know, if you're holding, holding the stick up here and you cross check someone hard enough with the force that comes with box across, this is going to snap a lot. Uh, so don't do that. Don't don't cause Joe any stress or have to make him send you a bunch of carbon fiber pieces like I probably would do. Um, otherwise, when it comes to slashing force and, and doing whatever, the carbon fiber held up great. The plug itself hasn't cracked yet. Uh, use this actual piece of carbon fiber in five of the six games, and it's it's held up great. Um, hitting someone dead on with it, uh, I was worried, but I wanted to test it out just because Joe was there and he could hook it up with another carbon. Oh, he could hook it up with another carbon fiber piece. So I was sitting there and I was slashing people, um, hitting sticks with this, hitting bodies with it, and it held up great. It's not loose anyway, it's not broken. Um, I took it out and checked the cracking and see if it was cracked, but nothing happened. Um, I took a mean cross check, or I mean slash right here. It did break the resin layer, but I mean, that's pretty standard with carbon fiber shafts. It's just the outer layering. Um, can't bend it or break it, so it's good there. So it's very durable. You know, the metal portion, 100 gram shaft is what I have, and it held up great. The carbon fiber, I have the low flex, and the only concern I had, it was the plug, but for five games of, of legitimate box across and it holding up as well as it did, I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, so durability-wise, for 150 bucks or 165 if you get the control kit with it, it really holds up. If you're playing a lot of field across and you don't play box across, this shaft is a must-grab if you like shooting or passing or even dodging just because of the control kit you can have a heavier bottom which is good for one hand cradling or a lighter bottom you just switch it up however you want shooting wise with this I took it out to the park before and after the tournament and like I said you can feel the flex from the carbon fiber it's not enough to make you alter the way you shoot change how your stick is strung or anything I've had that issue before with dragonflies and carbon pros where I'd shoot with them it took a while to get used to and with the you know you feel the whole shaft flex and snap Sometimes I had to change the way I shot just a bit. Sometimes I had to take a little whip out of my stick. With this, I didn't have to alter my stick at all. I felt the snap every time I was shooting and passing. I felt it, you know, it felt like it was going a little faster, but it didn't feel like I had to alter my stick in any way, which I think is great. You know, I think Joe really spent a lot of time on this shaft and, and making it perform the way it should while still being innovative and creative. Um, so durability-wise, box across, like I said, if you go to cross-check someone or you play defense, probably wouldn't get the shaft if you play some offense or transition and you're smart enough to you know just lay some checks holding only the metal portion you're good to go defensive wise if you're a D midi it should hold up I mean I was I was smacking people with it just to see if the carbon fire would hold up and I didn't have any issues and like I said I pulled this out looked at it looked at where the plug was in the connection area which I didn't see any cracking or any signs of, of being broken so I think it's very durable and I think it'll hold up pretty well.
So outside of everything that comes with the shaft, the durability of it, uh, a couple other unique things. One, uh, this plastic piece is where I'm concerned. I think that if you mess with it or, or it you know gets bent or something, you may have to buy a replacement one. I don't know if Joe's going to be offering those, but I have to assume he does. They're probably real cheap. Um, so if you do buy the shaft and you don't buy the control kit with it, which comes with the extra weights, um, I would consider buying an extra plastic piece just to be safe. You don't need the thrown a string rift tool to take it apart and adjust it with this nut. You just need a flathead screwdriver. But I think it'd be worth it to have the tool just in case. Like I said, the butt end will come off if you want it to. You just have to heat it up and pull it out. From there, I, I'd assume you'd be able to put it back in. Uh, I haven't tried it because I don't want to. But with mine, I like a nice little knob, so I tape mine up just a little bit, and it worked out great. You know, I haven't been able to pull this off as much as I've tried, uh, even without the screw and the weight in. It's nothing crazy there. If you're someone who does face-offs, I would not recommend this stick at all, just because, one, it has the foam plug here, so if you use a head that has a plug in it, then you're out of luck. Um, two, as you go to face-off, if you do this and try and snap it or, or pull the ball out, as you're holding it here right between the connection point, chances are you're going to snap it wouldn't use it. If you're an offensive player who shoots over 80 miles an hour, I would go with the low flex carbon fiber and then from there choose the weight of the shaft. 10 grams won't make a huge difference, uh, but durability wise I always go with the heavier version just because I like to be safe and I like the way it feels. Um, so yeah, durability wise, I mean the rift shaft held up phenomenally. Uh, I could feel it the way it shot. I could feel just a little bit of snap to it, but not enough to uh, really alter or change the way I play with it. And I think that this being the most innovative shaft on the market is worth every penny. If I were you guys and I was looking at a new shaft, I would highly consider the Throne of String Rift shaft. Um, I would also get the control kit. It's an extra 15 bucks. You get free shipping, so your shaft be what? $164.99 probably. I think it's worth it just because you can alter and change it up. Um, I also don't like holes in my sticks, which is unfortunate because I use a Mark II with this. And you can see here, obviously, I don't want to use the uh, lock bolt. Just a little tidbit, I'm, a, I'm super picky and anal about things like that, but, you know, it works out. Carbon fiber is, is perfect shape. Um, getting the Mark II V head on, it took some time, but, I mean, it, it sits flush, doesn't wobble, uh, even without a screw. So, pretty, pretty awesome shaft. So, for a final recap on the Throne of String ripped shaft coming from me, um, I'm absolutely in love with this shaft. Obviously, I went over all the tech specs with it, all the customization to it and it's truly the most innovative shaft out there on the market. I don't think any other company will come close to making something similar to this or better than this, and in my opinion, uh, outside of Joe and I being friends, in my most unbiased opinion, I absolutely am in love with this shaft. I like carbon fiber shafts because I like the flex you get with it, and I like how it helps you shoot a little faster, or at least supposedly does. I think it does. But the problem I've always had is the shafts twisting. Um, twisting and bending, can't use it for box, because if you cross check someone, It'll snap. The more checks you take in a certain area, the more likely it is to Blake, Blake, more likely it is to break in that area. With this, you have a metal two thirds or metal bottom two thirds, so you get the nice consistent feel. Doesn't warp, doesn't bend, and from there, when you go to shoot, you have the top third being carbon fiber. It's it's flexible enough to feel the flex when you pass and shoot. Obviously, using it in a lot of box across games that are legitimate box across, not old men's league. It held up great. Like I said before, checking people, going straight on them. Um, no breaks there. Cross-checking people, held my hands down here and went after them. So it, it's really just the best of both worlds. Uh, I'm a huge fan of it. I absolutely love it. In fact, after the second day of using it and, and scoring some goals, I was so thrilled and so sold on the shaft, I went and bought a second one. Uh, as you can see, I got two of them right here. Both the same weights, uh, low-flex carbon, 100-gram shaft. This one being all black with a blue bolt. Like I've shown you before, this one being the day one, black with gold. I'm sold on the shaft, 100%. I think it's worth the money. I think if you're looking for a new shaft to use throughout the season, uh, and, and you really want a shaft that's going to last some time and, and have benefits of both metal and carbon, your best bet is the Throne String Rift shaft. However, if you do buy it, I would also suggest getting the control kit. Um, obviously, it'll have different colors, so you can customize your shaft a bit more, but definitely suggest a control kit. You don't necessarily need it right away, but as time goes on, you may want it. Um, it's better to have something and, and using it than not having something. Um, like I said, the screw and the two weights are 5 grams each, so you add an extra 15 grams. Uh, it really does, I mean, you can tell with a head on the shaft if you use no weight, one weight, two weights. Um, no matter what you use, you can feel the difference in it, especially depending on the head and mesh you use. 
Uh, you can make it top heavy, you can make it balanced, you can make it bottom heavy. It's so customizable. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the shaft. Color wise, I uh, don't know all the colors are coming out with, but obviously the gold is the day one version. Don't know if they have many of these left in stock, so if you want the gold one, probably go buy it real quick. If not, they will have the all black version like I showed you here. Um, silver, blue, and red, and then from there, depending on what he wants to do, different colors. I heard rumors of an all white version. Uh, don't quote me on that. I assume it's coming out because I know Joe and I talked to him about it, but yeah, I, I think it's worth the money. 165 for a shaft that's, one, not going to break on you given you, you're smart with it, you don't play box and you're not an idiot. Two, a shaft that has the benefits of a, a metal bottom portion so it's not going to twist on you or bend or break. And then the top part being carbon fiber if you're a shooter or a passer. I mean, you get the best of both worlds. 165 for the whole shaft with the control kit. A little pricey, but I think it's worth the money. Six month warranty on the shaft, so if you break the metal or the carbon fiber or any other of the pieces, Joe will hook it up and send you a replacement. So, it, you know, it's, I think it's worth the money. I'm a huge fan of this shaft. Um, for quite some time, I don't see myself really using anything else. Uh, I think as my box season next year comes, I may be using a, a another string king shaft just because if I do cross check or something happens, I don't want to break my stick. And I don't want to break my rift, but when it comes to everything else, I'm using the throne string rift hands down. Um, I, it's truly innovative and remarkable, and it's incredible to see. You know, I saw it back at LaxCon last year. I saw videos and pictures of it, and then actually getting to use one and hold one and play with it, I, I'm just hooked. I, I love it. It's beefy. It's meaty for box. You can switch it up. It's, it's awesome. You can have four different pieces.